Hey, Sean, thanks for sending in your plan. I see your um, picture, like, tells the story all too well. <laughs> so, yeah, I can help you with that. No problem. Let's take a look at your plan. I got it here. I got it open. Let's uh, just go to the 3D, and we'll take a quick look in the perspective, full overview. And sure enough, yes, I do see those corners kind of causing our trouble. So what's happening here is just to try to understand what Chief is doing. And if we look closely at the roof, and where it's lying on the plan, you'll notice that this roof plane is just a little shy to this wall. And also, if I were to turn it this way and look between the wall and the roof, there's a gap there as well. So it's just as easy as lining up this, and you can do this in the 3D or the 2D. It doesn't really matter which. So I'm going to do it in the 3D. I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to drag it a little bit closer to your sh uh, sh uh, siding wall there. And same with this. I'm going to drag it a little closer. If you drag it too close, Chief is really smart. It'll delete the whole siding. So it's kind of letting you know like, whoa, whoa, we can't go that close. So back it off till you get just the siding. And the same here, you just want to go right up to it until you get rid of it. And that again is getting rid of the siding. So I'm going to back it off a little bit. So that's how you do it in the 3D. And in the 2D, it's a little easier because you can see the walls and there that fix that. So if I go in here and what I mean by that is here, I'm on the second floor. I'm going to go down to the first floor and this is where the corner is. And notice where my green dash dotted line is the roof. I'm going to turn on my layers and it shows my second floor layer, that red line. And now my green lines right on top of it. So that takes care of it quite well. So if I zoom in here and try to click my green line, there it is. I can see I'm right up against the red line. So that means I'm right near the, the wall and nothing funny will generate. If I back that roof off, what's happening is the walls underneath are trying to shoot up into the roof eave that you have above because chief always generates a wall above the roofs for instance this wall here is your attic wall it doesn't exactly exist you never drew it in the plan but when you drew this wall down here it automatically generates this one because you had a roof over it so chief is trying to figure that out now little things like this where there's a gap is usually because of the way the wall was built so this is a particular different issue you notice there's just a gap in here if we go real slow and the reason why if I were to select this wall and open it up and go to its uh, wall type, I can go into brick thin that you've built here and I can see I got this huge gap here that I don't actually need and that's that gap that's right here it's in between the hash marking and the wall framing so which you need building wise you could delete it this way this is one way to do it just delete that layer click OK click OK and then it'll generate that without the gap but I think what might be best is you use and look at it it adapted the siding so you might have to pick up the stucco and apply it but I think what might be best is with siding walls anyway you want to finish it off with a corner board and I think that's probably going to be the best way so I just put my cursor in the corner and remember to drag up any corner boards that go long because Chief doesn't always cut it by the roof where it should uh, and then just kind of go around and hit the corners to where these corner boards are a nice finish or a nice touch but if you really don't want to do that then you'd have to manipulate the wall like we did in the 3D. Well, I hope this helps uh, with um, the program and understanding how it works. Thank you for watching ChiefTutor.com and submitting your problem. And for those watching, if anybody has a problem with Chief Architect, you can go to ChiefArchitect.com and ask them directly, and they'll probably give you really good advice. Or you can come to me, who doesn't really know what he's doing, but he likes to pretend he does. That's Dave. That's me here at ChiefTutor dot com.